Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the 3200. Hey, this is Ike. I got Leo with me, and this is our review show. Review show. <laughs> what was the, the dramatic pause there, man? What was that about, man? Oh, I don't know. Was, oh, my end, I heard it. Right? No, no, man. That's my. That's my. Uh, that's my uh, communion. I got communion in my cup. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> when the grape juice turn brown, man. When the grape juice turn brown. Hey, it's not. It's not great communion though. Communion is always <laughs> great. Jesus. Jesus turned water into wine. Uh, but <laughs> but the, the pause was because on my end when I heard you it was it kind of like did a kind of weird kind of uh volume thing. Oh, so okay. I was trying to wait till I heard it finish up before I oh, okay. threw that out. All right, that's just giving me like a dramatic pause. Like, what is going on? Hey, what's up, man? Hey, uh, we talking about Jesus juice, man. It, it, uh, we go today. We reviewing uh, KB, uh, KB's new album, His Glory Alone Part Two, HGA Two. Uh, this is uh, I think it's, I can't remember how many albums he dropped, but this is uh, another album he dropped here. Uh, sixteen songs. He had all kinds of features on here. Uh, Lecrae's on here. Uh. Some of these people I've never heard of, so I'm probably going to mess their names up. Uh, Nico, uh, Emmy, Cardiac Drums, uh, Britt Nicole, S.O., Brandon Lake, uh, the Sean X, Scooty Wop, No Big Deal, Portia Love, One Day. All was on here. I miss the old names, man. That's Mike Jones, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and then these millennials, man, they like add numbers and, and X yeah, and stuff. I was, the words. I, was, like, I was very glad when I was listening to this and um, no big deal. Yeah, no big like, deal. Yeah, name because the one that I that I listened to it was the video they showed the actual video and uh, yeah, I was very happy they said his name because I was trying to figure that out for a minute. <laughs> but I don't love it. Yeah, it took me a while. No, no big deal. It's actually dope. I listened to a couple of his albums. He's actually pretty dope, but I don't know why he do his name like that. Uh, yeah. Is he the other little little guy, man? Uh, R.I.P., man. I, I still don't know how to say his name. Uh, a extension, uh, triple extension. Oh, yeah. oh, no. He said, no worries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're malignant, but they just be putting you stuff in their names. It's hard. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to edit. Well, that. you know what? I'm not gonna say that with all this AI yeah. stuff going on. Yeah, he's actually not gonna like a J. Was he on like J. Cole last album? Um, he may have been. He may have been featured. Yeah, yeah. I think I said. I think I've heard on a couple albums they featured like an Eminem song too. I think. Yeah, I want to say Eminem. He did the hook for one of his songs. Yeah, yeah. but anyway, um, yeah. Dope album. Uh, we're going to talk about it, man. We're going to talk about we like what we don't hate, man, but we want you to join in, too, in the comments. Let us know what you don't like or what you like about the album, what you're going to give it. Uh, Leo, man, uh, KB, what, what do you think about the album, man? That boy is a beast. Um, you know, uh, I got to, I gotta, uh, especially after watching that Triple XL uh, freshman class stuff, <laughs> uh, yeah. Man, I tell y'all, man, yeah, these Christian rappers or what y'all call Christian rappers will eat y'all. They, they, they are like sway yeah. say they some hyenas. You know what I mean? Um, his production was good. The beats was dope. Um, the the lyrics, of course, the lyrics, man. Um, these guys don't play when they out there. Yeah, um, yeah. they ain't playing in that jungle. Uh, so uh. I, I liked it. I, I thought it was dope from the beginning to the end. Um, I know you wanted to mention one song. Let's just jump into that one song, Daddy. Daddy had me confused for a minute there. And then I was like, oh, 
oh, he talking about his earthly daddy. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, when people yeah, are Christian yeah. vibe and they say daddy, they talking about God. Yeah, but uh, he was talking about the the earthly daddy, and I was like, oh, and that it yeah. got deep. It it got deep. Um, it was really good, really good song. Yeah. Really yeah, yeah. I, I like that song. Is that song Daddy in, in Your Way uh featuring Brit Nicole? Those two songs, they were good songs. This is my only issue, man. They were both good songs, and they both like I, you know, if you ain't listened to the album yet, they both kind of like like your uh your way was only like a worship song, and then Daddy is is another like he, you know, like he's singing to his dad or whatever, kind of serenade almost type deal. Uh, saying he misses dad, and that one's a little bit more hip hop ish than the other one. Uh, towards the end, when the beat, when the beats uh switch up, do the change up. Mm-hmm. But to me, when he's seeing doing like the country, you know, the guy was thinking or whatever on daddy, was it daddy? Yeah, I think it was daddy. Both of them, man, for me, kind of seem. Especially your way, kind of seem out of place. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then they put, um, I was wondering for a minute there if he was trying to, if there was somebody else on his record and he was trying to um, get him in. Because there was a little more singing than rapping on those two songs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and at maybe first I, I was like, is that him singing? You know what I mean? Yeah. I think he was singing on that, the one your way. Yeah. Yeah, so I I don't know if he's trying to venture out into singing a little bit or whatever, um, but like you said, it was still dope. <laughs> yeah, they were good, just out of place. I think for me, if you're gonna put them songs on like that, and this is a rap album, and everybody's expecting rap, I would have put them on like last, almost like okay, these these extra songs, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And he kind of put them in the middle, especially Daddy. I wouldn't say Daddy for that. But yeah, you know, he did that Remember Me and the Baby Mama thing. Yeah, yeah. But I, I don't put it towards the end. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just, I don't know. Maybe how they how they set and stuff, it didn't seem, it, it didn't it didn't fit well with me. It kind of threw me completely off. If it was towards the end, it would have flowed a little bit better, but that is what it is. Uh, one thing yeah, I really love about uh, I gotta, I gotta send a little thing. I just, I just realized something. Just remember something. The song he did with SO, "Talk to Me Nice." Yeah, uh, I like that. Our boy, man, uh, Sean C. Johnson. He did a, he did a hook for one of SO songs. It was real deep too. A real good song. Oh yeah, 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 uh, man. Shout out Sean Johnson. Like man. I know that name. I know that SO. I know that dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, a yeah, yeah. popular Brit, popular Brit, man. He's popular Brit. Yeah. But I mean, same thing on the same note. That's the note I was gonna jump on real quick. Like that's the one thing I do love about uh, KB, man, because he's versatile, and then he uh, he he be on that international tip, bro. He be on the international tip, man. Like I say, yeah, he had, had SO on there. He always every album he he'll have like something that's very Spanish. Oh, yeah, 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 and that yeah, dancer, yeah, uh, that yeah, song with Harper and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, dancer, yeah, that was uh, that's cool. the one he had that sample from uh, Fred Hammond sample, uh, dance, uh, like David Dance, he had that sample on it, uh, but with the Mexican, uh, like a Hispanic type feel to it, man, it was, uh, so mad. It was nice, that one was dope, oh, yeah. That was dope, man. And then he had um he had another one. I think I want to say it's, it's who the sun sets. Uh, free. Yeah, I think that one. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. No, it was Imagine That. It had to be Imagine That. That had the uh Afrobeat style. Yeah, I want to say it was Imagine That. Yeah, yeah, with one day and then, yeah, yeah, it had the Afrobeat style. Uh so that, I that's love one thing Graves, I love. Man, I love Graves. Uh, Graves. Oh, Graves, Graves was dope, man. Graves was dope. Mm-hmm. You know what's so funny about this? Most yeah, Graves was dope. Out, Graves was dope. It started with the country, the country thing. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but I, I didn't mind it. I didn't mind it. It was still dope. You know what's so yeah. funny about this though? Um, was uh, most people would have started with the review, and it shows you how good this album is. You know, um, most people I would have started with the miracles. With Lecrae, yeah, since Lecrae yeah. is the big name, but yeah. if you notice through this whole 
review that we're doing, uh, we talking about all the other songs. We haven't even hit on the Lecrae one yet. This yeah. album is dope. If you even if you're not into um whatever you want to call it, gospel rap, Christian rap, whatever you want to call it, even if you're not into that, if you sit this thing down, I promise you, you going like this album. Um yeah. Like I said, the lyrics was just dope. Um the the beats was just crazy, man. Crazy. Uh, whoever production, I don't know if that's him or somebody with their crew or whatever, but but man, this this was a dope album. Yeah. Yeah, super dope, super dope album. Uh yeah, that Lecrae and then the King Jesus one. That's probably uh Yeah. Now those two, those two went super hard for me. And like I said, Danza, Danza was my favorite. The intro, he came in hard with the intro. You know, I'm always the big person. Yeah. Like that first, that first song, that intro, you got to come on the hip hop album. You got to hit it. Hey, you dude, hit it I hard. don't think, I, I'm trying to think about uh, the last, I, I ain't even want to say last. Most of the gospel rappers who I know, that, that intro, they intros always be banging, man. Yeah. Always be banging. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna get you in. They get you in there, and you oh, hook. Yeah. You hook because, like he's like you said, it was sixteen songs, and I was still like, you know, still jamming. Still, I was like, they still jamming. They still jamming. Yeah. You know, so it was good. It was dope. Super dope, man. Uh, yeah, I loved it, man. I loved it, man. You ready to rate it, or yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's rate it, man. Uh, I will start it off because I know you're gonna. I know you're gonna. Go up here, man. Mine, mine's gonna be fair, man. Hey, it was a great album. Uh, showed a lot of versatility. Uh, like you said, lyrics, lyrics was bomb. I didn't have any problem with the lyrics, the content. I said my only thing that I did not like uh, was the the two kind of slower songs. They were great songs, but they just felt out of place for me as as an album as whole. Production was great. Um, was it my favorite KB album? I can't say that it was. I cannot say it was my favorite KB album. Uh, but it was it was still a great album. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it three and a half stars just because it wasn't my favorite. I didn't the two songs didn't feel right for me. Uh and that's it, man. That's that's our, that's our doctor for them points, man. But three and a half, man, that's, that's pretty still a pretty great album, man. I would I I've listened to it several times, man, but uh great album. Well, I'm new to KB, so uh, as far as his own albums, you know, I didn't hear them on features and stuff. Um, so for me, uh, I give him like a four, four and a half. Um, I can't even i the I can't even tone it down on the slow songs because I expect slow songs on albums or whatever. So you you turning the the what you call it down a little bit. That's fine with me. It's um, not that it's slow. It's just that they just fell out of place. I don't know how to describe it. Like, like it wasn't. But it wasn't I felt like the whole pop. album um, wasn't. Yeah. It was different. He had Afro yeah. beats. He had Latin stuff. He had one of the songs sounded like an old school nineties um, song. Like uh, I can't remember which song that was, but I was just like, I was like, oh, that sound kind of nineties to me. Um, it he was he was very versatile and he he had drill beats in there. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. He had drill. He was he was everywhere, and I love the switch ups that he did in the middle of the songs. You know, kind of remind me of that Timberland vibe. You know, Timberland used to switch up the beat. Um, so yeah, I gotta give him about a four and a half. I I enjoyed it. Um, like I said, I'm new. I don't know. Excuse me. I don't know KB's other albums like that. Like I said, I know him from other features, every, every yeah. other people, but I never sat down and really listened to the rest of his albums. But um, if you saying this ain't his best one, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the other ones was really be dope. Because to me, this one was, this one was nice. This was Oh yeah, the other one was dope. Let me tell you, I, I'll be, I'll be honest too, man. Uh, KB, out of all the Christian rappers, I'm talking Lecrae, Andy, uh, to Dosh, everybody, every Christian rapper, KB puts on the very best show. I've been, that's what made me fall in love with the dude, bro. Uh, 
I went, I didn't know nothing about them. And we were at a big gospel concert in uh Houston, and KB came up there and like I ain't gonna lie, like the whole it was a mixed crowd, man. It was black, white, everybody was there, and everybody stood up and they were getting, you know, what I mean, they were everybody's already lit. I'm like, well, who is this dude? Did he start he start getting it and, and bro? I jumped up. I was like, oh, he killing it, he's killing it. Uh, and then after that, I was I was a fan. I was a big fan, man. And I've I've been to I think I've been to three of your shows, mm -hmm. uh, bro, bro. High energy, mm -hmm. uh, very high energy, bro. Very high energy. Uh, it'll get you exhausted, and, and man, like you get your money's worth out of him, man. KB, I uh, put on he one had, of you. He had me laughing at the end of it. He was like, uh, he was like. Um, couldn't get I couldn't get all these nominated. I couldn't get this, you know, this type of looks and whatever from everybody. But once he wrote a book, like, oh yeah, you know, like, <laughs> going in America, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he on everywhere. Nah, <laughs> that's great. Hey, I tell you what else is funny about KB, real quick, bro. Like, uh, like you hear his rapping and stuff, man, and you think he'll sound like a kid out the hood, bro. And then he'll sit down and talk because I, I the same concert, man. He did like a little uh sit down, uh sit down talk with everybody. One of the other concerts I went to, he did like a sit down conversation. And bro, I mean, he don't talk and he's from St. Petersburg, Florida, but bro, he's so proper and, and I mean, I mean he's college graduate and everything, bro. But it kind of threw me off. He's like, yeah, so the proper way to maintain your <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <the> music, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, so you know what, you know how you be expecting rappers to stop, like you know, what I'm saying, then you know, you know, you read, yeah. yeah. it wasn't yeah. <laughs> nothing against them on that man, but it's just it's just weird. <laughs> oh, but uh, yeah, bro, but he, he, he's a cool dude, man. You got to go to, uh, if you see him doing a concert anywhere near you, and I say the same thing, Kirk Franklin, too, man. I went to one of his concerts. Now, if, I, if he, he within a 100-mile radius, I'm going to his concert. But if you see him doing a concert anywhere near you, you got to go, bro. He, he he kills it, bro. He kills it. Very, I mean, one of the best, yeah. best concerts I've been to. He made me a fan with this one. It's some, it's some good gym music, too, man. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, it's yeah. sometimes it's hard to find gym music, Christian gym music. Oh know? man, bro! Because I get Go so back. tired. Of, I'll get so tired of getting ready to cry while I'm on the treadmill. And, and <laughs> <laughs> bro, that, oh, oh, then you about to fall and everything because you you got your worship music. Worship music is not for the gym. No, you know? no, no. Be having you thinking about your grandma, <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> it does not work out for the gym. It does. Yeah. You hey, but that's gym. for real. To die, CKB, that's all I have. Like, my play, like, bro, like, go back and, and listen to a bunch. I mean, listen to a bunch of other songs, or I don't know. You listen, what you use? You use uh, Apple or Spotify? Or what you use? I use Apple. You use Apple. Like, go through like his playlist. Most of the songs are like up tempo type songs, and, and they will. Bro, have you run ten miles? <laughs> yeah, I can see it because I was I was I was through song sixteen and I was just like, oh crap! I didn't realize it was sixteen songs until we just getting ready to uh, start this up, and I was like, oh yeah, sixteen songs. <laughs> but I was jamming yeah. on every one, like yeah, even the Spanish. <laughs> I knew what they were saying, but I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll yeah, yeah. Go on. back through, man. Go back and just play uh play play a song, man. Next time you work out or whatever, bro. Bro, I mean it changed your whole spirit too. It uplifts you and man, it's good stuff, bro. He go hard, man. Hey, <laughs> thank y'all for watching, man. Uh let us know in the comments what you think about the album. Uh if there's something another album or somebody you want us to hear, any type of music, man, we, we'll go through and review it. If there's somebody you think we can review, it's your music, we'll review it. But just be prepared for the honest truth. <laughs> hey, man, appreciate y'all watching, man. <laughs> appreciate y'all watching, man. We'll see you next time here on the 3200. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro.
That's a wrap.